Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to this week's episode of Last Cat's Adventures. I am your host, Daniel, and in this episode I'm going fishing with my friend Patrick. And it's just kind of a place down in Bonita that he showed me, and we're catching some snook far inland at this overflowing reservoir that was there, both on fly and on spinners. Our main target was snook, but I mean we were really willing to catch anything that fit, as always. See what bycatches catches we caught. Hope you guys enjoy and please subscribe. So as you can see here, the water is boiling over that part of the dam here, whereas normally they'd have to open up the lock system to the left and let the water out, but we've been having so much rain that it's just going over and you don't even have to worry about letting it out. So in turn, this attracts a lot of fish like snook, bass, tarpon, jack, and who knows what else is in there. A good thing to know is that whenever you do find moving water like that, especially out of a drain or somewhere that there's possibility of bait going over, you're going to find a predatory fish, and that's exactly where you want to cast. There we go. <laughs> Feels like a bigger fish. Ooh. Nice. A little bit. I know, that's insane. Would that be a triple header? I know, but <laughs> my duration. Woo. Now, I'm not 100% sure what each of us was using. I think I was using a Schminnow, which I've used before, you know, very good white bait. Great for uh, fly fishing, and uh, I think he was using some kind of jerk bait or something that was also a white or silverish color. Go after minnows, imitations, works out really well, especially in the moving water. That's what the fish are hitting on. I love it. Nice. Talk about hitting the fish on the head. Don't know. Yeah, cichlid. Or a jack. <laughs> oh, I know. Nah. Oop, falling. Of course they are. Ow. All right, pretty girl. Oh, that's Poon or Jack, I'm not sure. Jack, Jack, Jack. Oh, he's big. He's big. Now in normal situations, I don't really reel in the fish while I'm fly fishing, but in this case, I mean, the fish ran me to my reel, which is a good reason to reel in the fish, and there's a bunch of rocks everywhere that all my fly line could get caught on if I was stripping it in. So in this case, I reeled it in, but normally I don't like to just because some reason the fish tend to get off that way. I've lost fish and I've seen people lose fish, just by trying to reel them in.
He's stuck on something. He's stuck, I think. How do you feel about swimming? I'm telling you, it's not coming off this way. Now, what I end up doing here is try to walk all the way around on the bridge and everything, see if I could get a different angle. You know, maybe it was stuck one way that I could pop it out by being on the other side. But unfortunately for Patrick, that doesn't really happen. So he kind of has to, uh, well, be a really good friend and uh, help me catch the fish. Yeah, he's still on there. And this is the part of the show where Patrick begins to prepare for his swim across the canal. He first starts by taking off his shirt, and then his boots follow, and then his socks follow shortly after. I love you. A lot. Uh, what? You didn't have to go in your jeans. It's up to you. It's closer to your side. I don't know exactly what's going on at the moment. Your mom? A little bit that way, a little bit that way. There you go. Patrick is taller than me and has swam this before, so he is more capable than I am to do this. Plus, someone has to hold the fishing pole. Is that your foot or him? Did you get it out? Yep. Alright, let it go. I got something. I hope so. I went swimming for your ass. I know, and I'll return the favor. I don't think he's in there, though. He is. <laughs> We concluded that this fish was both his and mine because I had it on the line and he did most of the work once it got stuck. So I let him take whatever kind of pictures he wanted, which included this one back in the water because, you know, why not get back in the water? And then there's me holding it and it was a stud of a jack, that's for sure, especially to be, I don't know, five plus miles inland in a place not really expecting. Anyway, thanks for watching this episode of Last Cast Adventures. Tune in to see what's next.